Last week when you joined us, we were going over some of the outstanding plays from the Lubbock Christian Eagles with their coach Pete Stone. This week, Michael Pittman is here, the head coach of the Post Antelopes. Post has started 2-0 this year. The team is also unscored upon. We're really looking forward to getting into some of the outstanding plays that Post has had this year. Of course, this is the Lone Star Varsity Coaches Show. I'm Phil Torino, and as always, this is brought to you by Happy State Bank. Before we get into some of the plays here, you started off without allowing any points this year. Did you expect that from your defense? You know, I really did. Um, Coach Rocker, our defensive coordinator, does a great job getting our kids ready. Um, our kids have really bought in. Um, and I, like I said, our kids fly around to the football. And, and um, you know, like I said, so far it's scrimmages, games, and I hope we, it continues. We've been unscored on. So, In case Post uh, is a name that isn't really familiar you're not familiar with them so far. You have to remember, Post was outstanding last year. It happened to run into Cisco in the first round of the playoffs, but we were tracking the progress of the Antelopes all last year, and it was a very impressive effort. We're actually going to start with the first week win that Post had, a 25 nothing victory over Abernathy. So let's take a look at the okay. first play you have here. <clears throat> you know, right here, like I said, I think you'll see our, our kids, you know, we preach run to the football, and... Um, you know, we're aggressive and, and like I said, our kids really believe in what we're doing defensively and our, our, I think our coaching staff does a great job preaching defense to our kids and, you know, if we can keep playing defense, we've got a chance to be a pretty good team. Now, this year, did that come at all because of penetration or is it once they identified where the ball carrier was they got there? That's, you know, we're, we're what you call a read and react. Um, you know, we don't blitz a whole lot. We, we try to rely on uh, good technique and and then once we kind of figure out where the ball's going, and then we expect our kids to all 11 be running to the football. So it's effort. Okay. Offensively here, we have Cameron Gilbert on a pretty basic play. Um, our line fullback does a great job. You know, if we can, we feel like if we can get Cambry a little crease, uh, you know, he, he's got great vision, uh, pretty good speed. And, um, you know, he's going to make some things happen. Um, probably, the, I think the next play that was fixing to play right here, I think is probably the same thing going the other way. Um, you know, in this particular game against Abernathy, you know, we had a weather delay. And uh, I was really proud of the way our kids handled that weather delay. I felt like we got out and got to a fast start and, um, and got to rolling pretty early. I'm actually curious. Um, Gilbert, we know because he's also an outstanding defender as well. Yes, sir. Uh, Cambry Gilbert is a selection to the Lone Star Varsity Super Team first team that we had previewing this year, and he was also uh, recognized by us as well after last year. I'm curious about your quarterback, Escobedo. In, in the photos we had of him, his build looks pretty, very solid. I mean, he sort of looks like a fullback. Is that he's, accurate? It, he's not a little guy. Um, you know, believe it or not, he's probably put on 20 pounds of muscle since last offseason. Um, you know, he is a kid that we really felt like got in the weight room, hit the weight room real hard. Um, you know, he, he's not the speediest guy, but I think that extra weight, that extra strength uh, does him good, and he's able to, uh, you know, maybe run through a couple of tackles. He's not necessarily going to run around you and douse you with his speed, but, you know, he's pretty durable, um, and so far he's been making great decisions for us. Let's see what you have here for us. I think this is Cambry again. No, this is a pass from AJ to Shannon Wiley. Uh, you know, that's one aspect that I, I really feel like we've improved over last year's team. Um, you know, last year we were able to run the ball and, um, you know, we struggled at times throwing it. Um, you know, this year we still don't throw it a whole lot, but I, I think we've thrown it in two games. We've probably thrown it 10 times and I think we've completed like eight passes. Um, you know, Shannon's a great athlete, great hands, and, and we need to get the ball in his hands. Now, did you pick this play because what happened was kind of intricate there where he's catching it near the sideline? Yeah. Is that part of he it? Made, he made a great play. And it also, it, you know, it was set up off the uh, play of Cambry where, you know, we'd been running the sweep to Cambry a bunch. And, um, you know, if you can get that going a little bit, what, what starts happening, that defense trying to stop that sweep, they start creeping in and then they, you're able to get behind them a little bit. So if we can do that, I mean, that's going to help our offense tons this year. Okay. And I think this is another pass. Yes. Again, uh, A.J. Escobedo makes a great decision. Throws to Shannon Wiley, who is pretty dangerous once he gets the ball in his hands. Do you have different offensive looks? Because right there we just saw 
you know, him lining up in the gun, or I don't know if you call it what you call it with having the two backs. Yeah, you know, we uh, we're primarily going to be an eye offense. Uh, we run a lot of option, a lot of uh, we kind of consider ourselves, a, I guess, a power team. We're going to run at you. It's not usually fancy. We do have a package. Um, where we get in the gun and, and we're a little more um, versatile in with what we're doing. You know, we, we run the ball a lot out of the gun, um, you know, and we throw it a little bit out of the gun too. But, you know, primarily when it, it when it's time, we're going to be in the eye most of the time. We just kind of give uh, opposing teams, a, it's a little different wrinkle. Um, you know, hopefully they're having to spend a little bit of time in practice working that stuff versus, versus just – um, keying in on our eye stuff. When we had our uh, photo shoot at the beginning of the year, I had um, Denver City quarterback Cole McElroy out to the photo shoot, and a lot of the kids from the Lubbock area schools were asking me, who is that from Denver City? Because they, Denver City is very far out, they don't know who it is. I said, I told them, guys, he was a running back, wide receiver last year, he's going to play quarterback, he can play a little bit. A little bit's kind of an understatement because yeah. he's rushed himself for 714 yards and 10 touchdowns through two games as a quarterback. Exactly. Um, what have you seen when you watch film of Denver City from the quarterback spot? Well, you know, first thing, like just like you said, you know, the first thing that kind of pops out at is how good an athlete he is. Um, you know, I, I can remember going to state track meet this year and watching him. Um, you know, they were also in our district and track. Um, our area and tracks, so you know, I've seen him on the track and, uh, you know, I think he's a kid that does a good job of transferring the track to the football field. You know, sometimes you can have guys that are really fast on the track and not necessarily on the football field, but he's a kid that on the football field and the track, he's very fast. Uh, you know, I think he's a smart kid um, just watching him on film. Um, you know, he does a good job of letting his lineman set up the blocks and then, and then like I said, once he gets a step, you know, he's tough to catch. And, uh, you know, I think his line, like I said, you know, he's done a great job, but them linemen he has in front of him are pretty good too. So. I'm just curious because uh, Denver City is not a team that throws a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, how does that at all sort of, does it def refine like your preparation when you know that it favors the run so much? Well, some, you know, but they, they will throw it. They're kind of like us, you know, when people get ready to defend us, you know, they usually, kind of passing is kind of the second thought, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's kind of the same thing with them. But, you know, I think we've improved. Um, you know, I, I feel like if, you know, they start creeping too many people up in the box on us, we'll, we'll take a shot and throw it. I think they're the same way. You know, it, you got to be careful. You know, I know he's had a great couple of games, great stats, but you they got other weapons around them, so I don't. I don't think you can pack everything in there and and just expect them not to throw the ball. How about any uh, defenders from your group, players that maybe you didn't know what you're going to get this year, and they've sort of stepped up. Um, you know, we have a safety, uh, Anthony Soto. Um, he's doing a great job for us. Um, you know, he was kind of in the battle for the quarterback spot, um, but now he's, he, like I said, he's kind of taken over one of the safeties for us. Uh, Javon Rodriguez has done a great job. Uh, you know, we've had, because of a couple of injuries and stuff, we've had to change spots with him, and, and he just seems to keep, you know, getting better every week, uh, no matter whether we play him outside or inside. You know, he does a great job. Um, we also have a couple of other kids. You know, Alex Ramirez, uh, he's probably, I don't know, he's probably had three or four sacks already mm -hmm. this year. Um, you know, Alex is a kid that, that works really hard, and, and, and I think that, you know, a lot of these kids, we have, we have a bunch of young ones too. You know, we, we have some, because of injuries and stuff, we've moved up several sophomores. Uh, you know, we probably have five or six sophomores that are getting time defensively, uh, especially at the linebacker spot. You know, we, we lost our, our, our middle linebacker early in, in scrimmages, and, uh, you know, we had a sophomore kid we had to move up in JV. Mm -hmm. He's done a great job for us. Uh, Blaine Reese, who also plays fullback, has, has picking up some of the, has taken up some of the slack of that linebacker. So, you know, we, we, we feel like we have a bunch of kids on defense that are, are really playing well right now. Post coach Michael Pittman, thank you very much hey, for taking the time. Thank you. I appreciate y'all having me. I'm Phil Torino, and once again, thanks for watching the Lone Star Varsity Coaches Show, and we'll see you next week.